Hello everyone and welcome back to Coronas Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torn of the Golden Country and today, well, we're not going to go to the capital just yet. Let's go ahead and explore over here. And I'm assuming that's just a mountain we can't go through because it doesn't have the walkway area. But yeah, I also want to see what's up here because it looks like there's a campsite over there. Or some sort of settlement. That might be a Turkin settlement. I see my asthma. I see level 40, guys. All right. Well, we might not be able to make it over there. We can't do this just yet. That is a shame. Man, it's level 40. That might be something we're going to have to have not do right now. Stream saying... Aye! I like it. Level 38, not too great. I thought he was coming. Fuck. Oh no. We're gonna die. You actually did just die. Can I not? Oh. Hey, let's go to Elysium. We got this. Oh, look, a snake. Ooh, a chest. Stop chasing me. Thank you. I need this chest. It's a good chest, too. Probably can't open it. No, 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 we can't. That's a shame. Alright, so I have a feeling we're not supposed to be be over here just yet. But that's fine. There's other places to explore. Right, Hugo? He's like, oh god, please, can we go someplace safer? I'm getting killed. Oh, there's a spider. Uh, we could probably take the little 30 dudes, but... The higher ones, not so much. I did try fighting that level 30 crustacean dude for the quest. Like level 35 one. Um, he killed us. He just destroyed us, like, horribly. I kind of felt bad, because as soon as the, the, the fight started, he just chunked Hugo down to, like, 100 HP. And then he killed him. That's not good. Oh. You know what? We got this. I don't think we got this. I'm fine. Just fine. I have a weird feeling we do not got this. Oh, yeah, no, we died. That's a shame. There was a chest over there. That's what I was running for. All right. About time the trash came to pick up my trash. Um, so, yeah, what are we doing? Are we just going to go straight through the capital? I mean, I guess so. We're kind of limited to what we can actually do here right now. I could level myself up and explore the area. There's still level 40s we wouldn't be able to actually to get past, but at the same time we're probably going to be coming back here for other stuff, I'd imagine. Maybe. Probably do need to do some sort of affinity grinding eventually. I hope not. Insect Hunter. That would probably be good here, huh? There's a lot of insects. Like, well, I guess that guy's more of a arachnid, right? That's disgusting. Oh, his babies are coming for us. Queen bite. Well, uh, we'll worry about fighting that guy a little bit later. No, don't look over here. I mean, yeah, don't look over here. That seems super unsafe. To put a house there. He says as he stops and gets bitten by a giant spider. Stop attacking me. I want to get this chest. Thank you. This At least they listen, right? Is killing me. Bolt hat. The hell? Yes, that's the map again, Cronus. I know. What is a bolt hat? That sounds really familiar. Ether, 20%. Alright. Ooh. Grab this. Oh, there's a chest over there as well. That looks like it's going to be kind of hard to do. Alright, let's go ahead and... I guess just go forward a little bit. Yeah, we'll come back here when we're a little bit stronger uh, to deal with these things. That might just require me leveling myself up, because I'm not really sure... I did get a comment saying that you're supposed to level yourself up through this, but... I don't know. I mean, maybe they expect you to do that in the main game as well, and I didn't. Um... But who knows? Sorry if you hear that. That is a dump truck. 
who is literally just parked outside my house for some reason. He's a big jerk. This is I get. Oh no, you know what? He's trash. Ha! All the respect to the dumpster people, but. Oh man, that sounds way wrong. Garbage people. Well, that sounds wrong too. The people that pick up the garbage. It's a thankless job, really. Hair <laughs> pays alright, though. This is becoming addictive. Thought that was a giant chest over there for a second. That uh, that little cliffside I saw it at the corner of my eye. I'm like, is that a, is that a giant chest? Well, that is a chest. Hopefully, it's a good chest. As a chest we cannot open. So yes, it is a good chest. Maybe. Truly. Who knows? This is becoming something of an expert. I'm glad you're an expert, Hayes. Probably cutscene. Huh. You know, I wasn't expecting I, I wasn't really thinking what the, the gate would look Aren't like this place, but I didn't kinda think it would look ally. Like a temple-y... I forget what kind of... Is it a Shinto temple that have those? I don't know. Kind of looks like it, though. Though, kind of machine-y at the same time. Plainest Bridge. Oh, where'd the guards go? They just evaporated out of existence. Well, that's not right. What's not right? What's not right? This Titan. Why isn't it in its real form? Oh. You noticed. What do you mean? That isn't the original form of the Torn and Titan. What's the original? In ancient times, the Torn and Titan held awesome Gramps? Power. No, that's not Gramps. Torna made use of that. Wait a minute. To dominate all the rest for a thousand years. Where is Gramps? Is that Gramps? Okay, stop killing the Titans, you ass. That's where we live. But the power was shut away in the reign of Electos the First. Since then, the Titan has looked like this. See that glowing sphere in the castle tower? That forms the seal. Oh, so that's going to be destroyed soon. Is that what Malus is aiming for? Why would he do that? Wouldn't it be a threat to him too? No. Truthfully, I don't. I don't know think he myself. cares either way. But in any case, if he makes a move for it, it is clear what we must run do. and hide. Agreed. You can see the palace in the distance. We should head there first. Offer our report to His Majesty first. After we explore the city, sure. Are we just gonna go there, like instantly? I mean, I guess I should have realized it would be kind of samurai, right? Just based off how Jin's armor kind of looks. At least the, the the front part where the... He doesn't really look like a samurai. He does have a katana, but like the front part of his, uh, his outfit kind of has like the samurai feel to it. See that thing on his chest? God damn it, Jin! You know, that thing on his chest? Yeah, maybe not. Right, let's go talk to these guys. Hello. What? I don't know when they're like 10? Does your big brother make you lunch? At this age? You should probably make your own lunch, dude. It doesn't seem like you want him to. You should probably like, I don't know, leave your brother. Just, just abandon him. Like, he seems a little bit possessive about you. Which is awkward. Very awkward. 
Put it over here. Oh, the stair. Oh, hey, it's a uh, Barney Stone Seeker. Hey, girl. Oh, long time no see. We gotta find. Well, we found one of those. Another one of those that we can't get to. We actually haven't found any other ones, have we? There might be some around here, you're right. Oh, there's two quests. Let's take a dip in the water first. Could be something here. Could also be... Oh, there's a chest. Told you. You're coming with me, treasure. Dark defense up. I mean, that would probably be good when we fight Malos, right? There's no way onto that. That's absurd. Hey, let me onto this. Harmon, help! Give me your hand! All right, we'll just go back the way we came. So there's two quests. We might be able to do those. What are those? Oh, they're lily pads. They looked like they were glowing for a second. I was like, that's something I could just pick up? That'd be neat. I think I only thought that, though, because of God of War. Go talk to the fisherman that we just passed up, and there's a machine part right over here. That's dope. Can we actually open it? This is becoming addictive. The answer is yes. Don't fall in. It's nighttime. This is becoming addictive. Uh. Did you want to say something, Adam? He just went, oh, he's in the water. Where is he going? If you didn't see that, he was in the upper left-hand corner. Ah, Adam. You silly, silly man. Ooh, I like the nighttime music here. Hi, right, Joey. Interesting. I mean, not really. You, you, you know, just just look after him. Just raise him with all your love. Can I jump on this? No. Where is the quest? They're to the left, right? They are to the left. Are there no shops? Oh, did I shut off the shops? Go back there. I did shut off the shops. That was weird. Go to the shops first, see if we get anything good. We gotta talk to every star just to get them onto our community board. Why is she crying? Molten. Shut up. Why are you crying? Okay, you're a weird girl. I'm just gonna stand there and cry for no goddamn reason. Oh, instruments, huh? Uh, I don't think I want any of those, thank you very much. I'm very bad at, well, music in general. What do you have? Got rainbow gloves, smash, give, eh. It'd be nice to give to, like, Mithra. Nothing really good? Okay. That's a shame. How about you, Tarnik? Wood and flower. Well. Some of these are good. Well, not really. There's another shop here. In there. What is that, the inn? It is an inn. Oh my god. Absolutely. Let me stay at the end. Yes, rest. I was kind of hoping for like a cutscene or something. Maybe a heart to heart. Well, we haven't seen any of those on the map. Were you able to rest? No, I wasn't. Good morning, all. Good morning, Adam. Any treasures? Anything I can steal from these families? 
No. Oh, there's... Yeah, there's two quests over here. Why did I think there was only one? I really shouldn't have. I just looked at the map not too long ago. Did I talk to that guy? I did. Was his name pronounced Geo? Maybe. Gio? Ooh. Ooh, green barrels. We have 51 out of 70 for these, so... Or for the quest, anyways. I forgot we had anything equipped for food. Let's quickly check that quest. 53, so we need... 17 more? 17 more sounds right. And I also believe it's right with the math. Hi, Gideon. Ah! Aspered youths, stay right where you are! You have a look about you that tells you me that you might be interested in my most marvelous inventions. Hey, look, I have a hundred of these things. Beauties, aren't they? Mordain has absolutely nothing on my masterpiece, I tell you. I am, nevertheless, at somewhat of a loss as to how to surpass my former genius. What with the war on the horizon, it's been getting more and more difficult to find the parts I need. So now I've laid my woes bare. Could you, perchance, help the great Gideon collect some machine parts? I believe the ones laying around here in Torna should be choice enough. Do you, do you think I got enough just by the one I just got? We couldn't very well leave it alone, could we? Hi. How do? Have you got some parts for me? Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Ten? Okay. That was easy. Excellent work. A fine haul you have there. I extend my gracious thanks. At long last, I can now put the finishing touches on my ultimate creation. He ho ho ho! I call it Gideon's special patented perpetual music box. As the name suggests, with just one turn of the key, it'll play music forever and ever with no interruptions. Hmm? What's that? You want to know how to stop it? Well. <laughs> That's a good point. I've not thought of a good way, though, yet. I think that's a problem for future Gideon to wrestle. Anyway, you helped me collect the parts, so why don't I teach you how to make your own nest, thanks. Hold on now, it's coming to me. Yes, yes. Eureka, I've got it. A flash of inspiration for a brand new invention. My next masterpiece will address any and all minor flaws which may my la which my last masterpiece may or may not have had. And for that, I'm going to need lots of parts that can withstand the dry climate around the capital. I hear tell that you can find those parts around Gormot. I trust I can rely on your helping uh, your help finding a few more of these parts. Excellent, excellent. Just bring them back to me when you have found some. Let us dare to dream hand in hand. Hi. Yeah. Ten. Twelve. Ooh, fourteen. I'm not gonna give you those. Here, you can have uh, these because I got a lot of them. Marvelous! That looks like all the parts I need, yes? You have keen eyes, my flinging friends. Behold my life's work. I call it Gideon's special patented jamming megaphone. Its perfectly tuned mechanism cancels out any noise from the surrounding and magnifies the user's voice. And surely, uh, since surely everyone loves the sound of their own voice, there's no need for an off switch. And brilliant! Hmm, how far does the magnifying voice, ca voice carry, you ask? Uh, what do you guys, health and safety inspectors? Sheesh. Thanks for my ingenious uh, diction, diction, uh, dictionalizing technology. Oh, directionalizing, not diction. Directionalizing technology. Any voice you feed it, no matter how loud, will carry ten pads. Right, just as far as you shout. That's pretty much the point. Ha ha ha. Here, I'll share the recipe with you all, so you can take my groundbreaking invention out into the world. Okay. It seems your contributions have allowed me to stay aloft, after all. This marks the beginning of a new era of inventions. Why, before you know it, I'll, have be a, I'll be a household name. People will bow and scrape before me, begging for one of my creations. And I owe it in part to your keen eye, Kitty Winks. Bravo. Well done indeed. Are we done? Hi, Gideon. You really shouldn't have. You really, really shouldn't have. Requires one more. Ooh. Second thing I thought it froze when we moved the camera. I'm 
just happy we made someone happy. Mew, moon, 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 cube, cube, moon, moon, cube. Why can't I say that? Moon cube. It's weird. I don't know why it's messing with my head. We're done with that. Ooh, nice. Yes, absolutely. Jamming megaphone, sure. Anything else? No? Alright. Let's come over here and just kind of do the same old, same old. Looks like you're getting the hang of me. <laughs> uh, we should probably... Oh, no, that was the level 30 dude, wasn't it? Right. Oh. So we need to give her dessert items. Do we have any of those? We need to do this as well. More growing to do? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, let's come back here to Adam Pouch. Here. I don't have desserts. Uh, I guess I could have her craft something, maybe. Potentially. I don't know, actually. I haven't really checked out a crafting in a while. Hey, Marcus, what are you doing? Instead of being a little creep outside a window. Oh, this is no good. It's gonna take ages at this rate. Huh, you want me? Well, no. No. Marcus, no. You can ask me anything you want, as long as it's about insects. What? You're not interested in insects? Tut tut, well, I'll tell you there's more to insects than meets the eye. They're shiny shells, they're strong, bendy legs. Plus, if you boil them up, you get some really useful medicines. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I've collected loads of insects, but because I'm just a kid, I'm not allowed to go looking very far. But I need to get lots of insects as quickly as possible. Do you think you could bring me any insects you find? Thanks. Oh, and I'll need some from Gormot, too, not just Tor Dorna. Nuts about bugs. Mmm. We'll no. Yours. Phrasing. I mean, here's one. That's two. Two. Okay, that was better. It was four. That was six. That was three. Five. Okay, we're getting a little bit better. Ooh, that one was pretty good. Well, let's uh give you this few times, and we'll come down and give you this a few times. Yeah? Yeah. One more. There you go. Nice! That's more than enough. Thanks so much. If I can boil these up and get her to drink it, then maybe, just maybe, she'll die. That reminds me. I'm also partially, uh, I'm also partial to tinkering with machinery. Let me thank you properly. I'll show you a pretty amazing invention of mine. Well, I nuts about machines, so... Give me a shout next time. White belt. That does not look like a machinery thing. Okay, level four for her. Really? Hey, I'm good at Tinker Machines. Let me show you something. Oh, never mind. Uh, what is that white belt? Extends topple duration. Neat. Put that on uh Laura. Our efforts are paying off. I know. Ooh, 15. That's a lot. Okay, that's not too, too bad. Might be... So yeah, I guess all we need to do now... Is... Talk to people? And then go to the palace? We've got a couple of areas to explore. We'll do that today. Well, by areas, I mean just in this general. We get that whole desert to explore, too. So maybe I will level myself up before going out there. Don't want to do it too high, but at the same time, I want to be able to actually not die instantly to the monsters. As it just kind of happens, so... Oh, that's another thing. One, I saw that. Two... Over here, community. Did that kid really not join my community? What a dick! Kid, join my community. I know you're underage, but god damn it. I need all the help I can get. Can I open this? Uh, 
did what? Who says? Jin, you're the one with the super strength, right? Or is that a dog? That's a dog. A dog. What the hell? What's a far-sighted talisman? That sounds really familiar. God dang it! I'm gonna have to craft. I think in between episodes. Jerry, talk to me. What do you mean amateurs? Bullcrap. I could kick your ass any day of the week. Oh. Oh, is this the girl that uh, Marcus was talking about? Huh. Hey, how's it going? Okay. Well, I feel bad for her. You know, I'll help the innocent sick kids, by all means. Ones that steal from me, though, no. <laughs> they gotta pay. It's Luke. Definitely do want to play Sweet It In. Well, we did run into Joey a little bit earlier, too. Yeah, you do that, Luke. Hi, Onyx. What a name. That armor looks so very not good. Like, for combat, that looks awful. Are you guys not drivers? I know you have machines and everything like that, but at the same mm -hmm. time, I'd imagine drivers would Doesn't do seem so bad. better. Hey, Bray. Bree? Ah, uh, maybe. No, if it was Bray, it would have an A in it. This looks like an area that would have a lot of hidden stuff in it. Like this. This is becoming addictive. Thank you. Ooh, green barrels. That actually You're coming with me, treasure. For some reason blended in really the well. Is killing me. So am I picking up red pollen orbs for the quest, or am I picking up or just destroying barrels for the quest? Just destroying barrels, okay. We have 15 more of those to go. <laughs> Hmm. I imagine they gotta be somewhere around here. There's, um, I mean, there could be some hidden areas that I haven't been to yet, and there's the outside area that I haven't really explored. Probably has a couple of barrels. Oh, it's a Bloodborne ladder. God damn it. Any green barrels up here? I think the answer is gonna be yes. The suspense is killing me. Just one, though? Well, that's just a shame, really. Down we go. Ow. Hey, Tarth. What a name, Tarth. Just gotta keep an eye out for those green barrels, because I, I feel like I'm, I already probably missed a few of them. Oh, there's some right over there. Those ones I see clear as day. You're telling us about accessories. At this point in the game? We made it. Good stuff. You're Doesn't coming so. with I mean, I'm pretty neglectful when it comes to like a lot of things party-wise. But I would be kind of surprised if you didn't know what accessories were at this point in the game. That would be not bad, because I'm, I'm sure it's fine without accessories at the same time, though. Alright, let's talk to young art dealer Sarah before I wrap things up. You ever guys get, like, a, I don't know, a visiting nurse to come over? <laughs> and then, you're like, you weren't supposed to be here until, uh, well, tomorrow. But I guess you're here now. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. We all have a great day.